All right, guys, we're going to do another weekly rotation. All the fragrances that I wore last week, starting with Sunday, going through Saturday, which was yesterday. You'll see this on Monday. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into this. Welcome to the fragrance wardrobe. All right, guys, I want to remind you, if you like this type of content, like the video, uh, also comment. Let me know what you wore last week. Did we wear any of the same stuff? Also hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. And Monday, I went with Nasimato's Absinthe. This one is probably a little bit too much for the weather we've had, like the temperatures, but it's very green. You're going to have wormwood. You're going to have some green notes and vetiver. The vetiver is done really good. It's kind of an earthy green type of scent. Smells really good. Performs very well. Uh, this thing performs probably, I don't know, like 8 to 10 hours. You almost get a little bit of a, almost a little bit of a smokiness to the, to that vetiver, I think. And sm yeah, it smells pretty good. Very expensive, niche product. Um, but yeah, worth the money. I think it performs really well. If you like green fragrances, this one might be one to check out. Okay, Monday. Did I say Monday or Sunday for the first one? It, I don't remember, but Sunday, now Monday. So Monday, I went with one from Memo Paris, newer acquisition. Uh, this one is Tamarindo, right here. This one smells really good. Uh, this can definitely be it's very, very unisex. Might lean a little bit feminine. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think anybody could wear this pretty easily and pull it off. So you're going to have a lot of fruit with this one. You have like mango. Um, I think there might be peach in here. There's just a medley of fruits. Done very well. Blended very well. The the fruit is like kind of bright, refreshing, all that good stuff. But it's not like tart or anything, which would, I think, keep it more into only hot weather. I think this will transition into the fall pretty well, into the early days of fall. Probably, probably gonna have to put it up though once the weather starts dipping, you know, I guess quite a bit lower in temperatures. But this one, great for spring, summer, and I think first half of fall. Okay, Tuesday, I went with, uh, yeah, Dior Sauvage Elixir, 2021's own. Probably gonna be the best fragrance of 2021 or like best designer, I think. Smells great. They went. I guess in a really nice different direction than what they've been putting out. The Ambroxans toned back. The spices in the opening are like way heightened, very, very spicy in the opening. You almost pick up almost like a pine in there as well. The lavender's done very well. There's an amber base giving it a really nice amber undertone. It smells great. Sold a lot of bottles of these. Um, people smell it, they really enjoy it. So very mass appealing. I really like what they did, uh, kind of going in a different direction. This one, I think it's gonna play really well in the fall. Um, to play any situation, any time of year, I think, but yeah, I think fall is gonna be like really, really good for it. That and maybe spring, great scent. Uh, really, really enjoying Dior Sauvage Elixir. Okay, Wednesday, I went with one that smells like Invictus. Uh, this one is Valentino Womo, born in Roma. Smells good. Smells like Invictus. Yeah, um, you're going to get the sage. You're going to get basically the scent that you're going to get out of a bottle of Invictus. Now, this one, though, I do think is a little bit, I guess, a little bit better done. Maybe a little bit better blended or refined, something like that. But, yeah, it it's pretty much Invictus in a pretty cool looking bottle. The performance on it's not bad. I'm getting about six, seven hours of longevity. Um, the price point's not too bad either. And this one, I think, goes really well with hot weather, just like Invictus does. Um, yeah, hot weather and probably early fall. So I'm probably gonna get a little bit more wear out of this before the end of the year. But yeah, great, like, Invictus-inspired type of fragrance. So Valentino definitely saw the money-making ability of that DNA, and they copied it. So good job, Valentino. Thursday, I went with one from the House of Sensual Obsessions. They do clones. And they have some original, some special blends. This one is a clone of Creed Green Valley. Green Valley's discontinued, so if you do find a bottle, you're going to pay a hell of a lot of money. But you could get this instead for 
not a lot of money. Uh, I haven't smelled Creed's Green Valley. Uh, my friend Jim at Heart Notes TV, he says this is like pretty spot on to the original Green Valley. So I'm gonna take his word for it. And yeah, I like this, the way this thing smells. You have some citrus, you have some, um, you have some, I think, uh, ambergris. I think you have a little bit of ginger in here. Smells great. The performance is exceptional. Uh, Kevin's stuff, all like all of it performs very, very well. So you can get all day out of just a handful of sprays or three or four sprays with this. It's gonna last you all day, which is what I know a lot of you guys are looking for. A bottle of this too is only gonna run you like I don't know, if you got a big bottle, like a 50 mil or something, probably like 60 bucks. If you get this size, which I think this is 30 mil, it's gonna run you about 30 bucks, so not bad. And it's gonna last you quite a while because it, it doesn't take a lot. It lasts a long time. Friday, yeah. Friday, I went with one that really kind of did not catch any hype when it came out last year. Uh, probably everybody's like least favorite in the line. It's from the Wanted line from Azaro. It's Wanted Tonic. This one, a lot of people don't like it. Um, I like it though. And it does give me a very similar feel to Boss Bottle Tonic, which a lot of people like, but the performance on that's not that great. Well, I get the same type of, um, pretty similar type of scent out of Boss Bottle or out of Wanted Tonic. And I get actually better performance than I do out of Boss Bottle Tonic. So great hot weather scent. Yeah, it's refreshing and um, it's appealing. People are gonna like the way it smells around you. So definitely check it out. You get a, I got a, a, a tester. I think I paid something like 40 something dollars for it. You might wanna wait until it goes down a little bit more, but yeah, not a bad fragrance at all for the hot weather if you're looking for that tonic type of scent. And yesterday on Saturday, I went with um, one of the decants, the, tea, the 10 mil decants that were sent to me from Segreto, uh, Jake sent over. Uh, I went with Triple Crown because I do plan on reviewing that here in the next couple of days. And that one is great. So I'll show you a Segreto bottle. Um, I don't have the bottle, but I have the decant. Bottle's gonna look like that. And yeah, in that one, it's Aventus Cologne with vanilla added in, which I think is done really well. So the Aventus Cologne that you're getting out of there smells great. It's very appealing. I think pretty spot on. And the added vanilla I think gives it such a nice uh, next level of character. I just, I like the smoothness and the touch of sweetness that the vanilla adds to the Aventus Cologne. It smells pretty, pretty good. So definitely a great warm weather scent, um, especially if you're like in the lower part of the country, the United States. I mean, you can get that now and still get a couple months use out of it before the cool weather hits. It's just a great, um, great, you know, twist on Aventus Cologne from Jake. So good job, Jake. That was, that was great. All right, guys, I will link um, either discounters or, you know, these houses that I've talked about today in the description. So if you want to check them out, click on the description and you can check them out. Uh, do not forget to give me a like, give me a comment, let me know what you guys wore this week. Also, hit the red subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and I will catch you guys for the next video. Again, thank you for watching.